Hello, another review. So many reviews. Right, and this one, I'm going to take a look at the uh, the Velocity RDA. Quite an interesting device, and this was requested by a member of our Facebook group. Um, so, if you want these aren't reviewed, you can request it on there, and we'll probably do it at some point. So let's go down there and have a look at it, and then we'll come back up. You know the drill. We all know the drill. I keep saying we know the drill every time. <laughs> Hello, so uh, this will be the uh, the Velocity then, in its bits. Um, you do get a baggie as well of spare grub screws, o-rings, that sort of thing, but let's just concentrate on the main part, shall we? So you've got these uh, these Delarin pieces here. Now what you've got here, we've got a uh, chuff cap, and we've got a standard 510 drip tip adapter. Now that would simply, sorry, my mistake, goes in here. Uh, that would just screw in quite happily yeah and uh, equally so will the, uh, the chuff cap now what's interesting to this is two things um, one is the, the actual posts design I don't know if you can see that but they actually are raised up and then you've got four holes Okay, but what is particularly good about this, and I don't know if you guys saw the Snapdragon review I did a while ago, but uh, these grub screws, when they go in, they don't cut in the other side, so you can't snip your wire off with them. So they hold them nice and firmly, so this, is, this makes it ideal for temperature control builds. You've got a fairly nice stick juice well in there, and you've got an adjustable 510 pin on the bottom as well. And... Um, the other particularly interesting thing about this is the uh, the way the top cap is assembled. So what you do is you, uh, you basically screw this, this piece on here. Let me just take this away from the, uh, the camera for a moment. Let's get it started. So if I screw this all the way down. Okay, so you can see there you've got a couple of air, uh, air holes opened up, this sort of thing. So we've got one there two there, three there, and four there. So we've got four air holes, but if I open this up a bit further, I can start to expose this slot here. So you've got an excellent variety of, um, of airflow options. So you could, you can tighten this right down. So if you want for a flavor chasing build, you could tighten this down. As you can see there, I've only got these air holes open a tiny fraction. There's no way of closing off, so you've only got, say, one air hole open, so you may have to, as long as you might not find it suitable. But, um, yeah, so that, that drastically reduces the airflow by comparison to what it can do. I mean, I can open this right up. So that's how you get it up to as far as it can go. So that's the slot fully exposed now. Plus these air holes as well. Okay, so that's it, it's maximum airflow setting. So you've got some great options there to actually play around with your build. Okay, so let's just pop the, uh, the chuff cap on there so we can just see how it all looks once put together. There we go, so that's that. And then the uh, fits on here and it will fits on quite snugly and nicely. I still can't help but think it looks like Terence and Philip from South Park. It really does. <laughs> Is this Canadian? <laughs> anyway, what we're going to do, we're going to, uh, we're going to go and shove a build on this, I think. And uh, so I'm going to do a, I'm going to do a cheat and uh, cut to the build. So uh, see you in a second. All right then. So we've got a build on it. So apologies for the jump cut, but I wasn't going to fill around and do this live. So. Uh, Let's see if we can get this up and close. Let's show you what I've put on here. Right, you probably can't make it out on the camera, but what I've done, I've actually twisted some uh, some nickel wire. So that's 0.3 millimeter nickel wire twisted twisted over on itself, and then uh, popped in here. Now the build has come out at 0.04 ohms. I'm going the full cloudy on this one. So uh, we shall see how it goes. Now, a final note before we actually go back to me vaping this is building on this thing is really simple. It's so well thought out. Um, you just stagger the, the, the holes. So I've got one coil leg in the bottom hole here. And on the other side, I've got it in the top leg here. 
which means that because of your coils being skewed or your legs being skewed you can get the coils nice and nice and level you can i've seen seen people do builds on this before with um with vertical coils uh, it's not something i've tried yet but it's something i probably will give a go at some point but uh yeah let's get this thing juiced up and uh give it some vaping okay here we go then so we've got the uh the velocity sitting on top of a DNA 200 device, um, as mentioned, it come out at 0 0.04 ohms. I don't have many temperature control devices that actually fire this. The DNA stuff is the only thing. Uh, the 40 will fire it as well, but uh, my Snow Wolf won't fire it. No, no, no. Let's give it a go then. I've got it set 100 watts. It is cloudy. very cloudy indeed now is that fully open pretty much it is i don't think it's gonna make much difference if i open up a bit further but let's do it anyway i'll probably need to uh, inhale a little bit harder on this yeah that's really uh let's close the top air holes down That's better, so it's now directing the, uh, the airflow over these slots, as opposed to everywhere, okay? What I'm going to do now, I'm going to close it right down so the slots are closed. And just have the, uh, the top air holes open. There we go. Again, cloudy, better flavour. Oh, drinky time. And for those of you wondering why I'm not spinning out, this is uh, this is three milligram juice I've got in here. A lot of it as well. <laughs> yeah, you get much higher flavour with the uh, the slots closed off uh, at the expense of clouds. So let's try and find a happy medium, shall we? Let's open a slot up a little bit and the air holes. There we go. I think I'm running a bit dry. Let's give it some drippage. Okay. That's a very happy medium. I'm enjoying that. It's a bit, it's a bit ridiculous than cloud wise. I mean, this is very, very high VG. I forget what this is actually. Um, it actually says on the bottle. Uh, it might do, but my eyesight's not good enough to read it. It's so tiny. Um, I think that's at least ninety percent VG. But my word, it don't have to chuck out the clouds. Mm. very very tasty clouds as well so you're not really ex losing much in the way of flavor of that i'm i'm quite enjoying it i've got to be honest I've, I've put a few builds in this i've had this for about a month i suppose i've used it a fair amount but uh, i mean this is the first time i've put twisted twisted uh, nickel cord in anything actually and i'll tell you what it works quite nicely really easy to do if you ask me nicely enough i might do it live on the show But yeah, that's really, really chucking out the clouds. He's chucking out the flavour. That's a really nice vape. Um, and I can see bugger all in here now, to be honest with you. <laughs> so there we go, the velocity then. Uh, if you can grab one of these, try it. Although, really, it's not for you guys that like to mouth along. I, you can't close it down enough for that. You could possibly tape off some air holes or something, but uh, I'll give this one a miss if you're a mouth longer. <laughs> I can't stop. Right, I better stop now before I crowd this entire place out and the missus shouts at me. So, uh, cheers. <laughs>